Hi, it's John from Android Alex with a video showing you how to apply the Alumet screen protector for the Galaxy S10 Plus. So this screen protector I bought from Amazon. It costs uh, just under seven pounds. It comes with two screen protectors in the case and those aren't after eight minutes. These are actually the uh, cleaning products inside. and you also get a little squeegee board thing here which will all make sense a bit later and also inside you get the adhesive fluid. So first things first, open up one of the screen protector accessory packs and then start off with the cleaning paper. This is just a sort of wet wipe which you're probably used to seeing by now in many other screen protectors. Give your phone a bit of a clean. I've taken the case off my phone here just to make sure I can get around the sides of the phone as well. Give it a good clean, you've obviously got a lot of fingerprints and other bits and pieces on your screen. And then move over to one of the dust stickers. Now as you saw in my previous video, I didn't get all the dust off my P20 Pro, so I'm really making sure here that I get every single little piece that I can see off the screen. I'm also making sure that I go around the edges and the corners of the curved display just to make sure there's nothing hiding around the sides. Once I finished with the sticky pad, I gave a quick wipe down with the anti-static cloth and then just cleaned up a few other bits of dust I saw afterwards. Again, just making sure that there was nothing possible that would get stuck under the screen protector. Okay, next up is to shake the adhesive fluid and spray some onto your fingertips. This seems a bit odd, but it will all make sense in a few moments. I've also put my phone down on a piece of paper just to make sure if anything sprays around the phone, it won't get onto my table here. And now get the screen protector from the protective bag and just peel it away. This screen protector feels a bit odd, obviously it's not glass, it's made from a sort of film. It's quite flexible as you can see. So get the spray and spray as much adhesive fluid onto the protector as you can. Make sure it's covering the whole of the protector. It doesn't matter if there's large drips of it, just carry on. And then, nice and easily, just pop it down onto the phone. Now don't worry about any bubbles just yet, because what we're going to do is just get it into a good position. Again, because this is not going to set straight away, you've got plenty of time here to just move the protector around as much as you like. And now you're going to get your little squeegee board thing and hold down the phone and just squeeze as much of the fluid out from under protector as you can. This will also get rid of all the bubbles. I'm trying to hold the protector down as much as I can whilst doing this just so it doesn't slip around too much. Make sure you get the little holes in between the camera punch out. You can see it's still sliding around very easily at the moment. and I'm just aligning up just to make sure it's in the right position. Okay, so next step is to just leave the phone alone and let the screen protector dry for about two minutes. So start a timer or you know count two minutes before you proceed. And now what I'm gonna do is just gently press along the edges of the phone, just squeezing a tiny bit as I do it just to make sure all of the little bubbles are out and also that the protector is wrapping around the screen properly and gonna adhere to the screen. See there's a small bubble there which I've been trying to get out and that's gone. Now the instructions say to keep doing that uh, process, so wait two minutes and then squeeze uh, the size of the protector just to ensure it does stick down fully along the edges of the screen because it is a curved screen you need to just make sure it's going to stick. Okay so this is what the phone looks like 
after 20 minutes or so of uh, allowing the protector to dry and also squeezing around the edges to make sure it sticks down. And now you can put on the supplied case, it's a jelly case, this is a special uh, sort of low profile case which doesn't uh, protrude around the edges too much, it doesn't push up the protector but it still lets you keep your the back of your phone safe whilst the protector is drying fully. Okay, so here's what the screen protector looked like straight after application. You can see there's a few white ghosting marks around the corners. So what I did was basically keep pressing down whenever I saw the ghost mark and eventually it stuck pretty well. So here's a couple of shots about a month later and the only one left as you can see in the top left corner is a very slight white mark around the edge. So overall I've been quite impressed with the Alumet screen protector. Uh, they're not sponsoring me for this video but I will put a link in the description if you want to check them out on Amazon. I've had no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint recognition, it all works as it should and overall I'm quite impressed. So if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below, I will do my best to answer them and until then I will see you in the next video.